Here we have a model laying on the right hand side. The leg is hip, if flexed hip at 90 degrees and up and out of the way. We're looking here at the exposure for the obturator internus. Let's go ahead and orient ourselves. Looking for the ischial tuberosity, the attachment side of the hamstrings. And the ischial tuberosity is right in here. Now, on the ischial tuberosity, we have a sacro tuberous ligament that's going to be attaching from the area of due to all the way down to the ischial tuberosity. Right next to the sacro tuberous ligament is a canal called the pudendal canal or also Alcox canal, which is going to contain the pudendal nerve, artery, and vein, and also the perianal nerve. In order to treat the obturator internus, we'll need to move slightly more up the ischial ramus, locate the obturator internus, and press into the obturator foramen. From there, we'll have the patient slowly externally rotate so we can feel the obturator internus pop up. By moving away from the identified pudendal canal, at least in the region where it should be, moving all the way up to the ramus, puts you out of harm's way when needling the obturator internus. So let's go ahead and locate this. Here's the ischial tuberosity. Sacro tuberous ligament, thick cord that comes all the way down and attaches to the ischial tuberosity. So I feel that ischial tuberosity going right on top of it. I move this way and I can feel that sacro tuberous ligament. Now, according to the research and in cadaver dissection, that pudendal canal is usually very close proximity to the border of the sacro tuberous ligament and the sacrospinous ligament. Now, if I press in here pretty vigorously, it's probably going to be very nervy and uncomfortable to the patient. Now, pressing in nice and slow, you can ask the patient if that feels like a nervy sensation or if it actually starts to refer possibly to the groin, the penis in males, or the vaginal area in females. And once we've identified that region, now let's back out, ischial tuberosity. Now let's start moving toward the anterior along that ischial ramus. Now you can see I'm probably a good three quarters of an inch to a full inch away from where that pudendal canal normally is located. So I press just right over the ischial ramus into the obturator foramen, just starts to fall right into a hole. I ask the patient to go ahead and bend their knee. Now I resist ever so gently external rotation of the hip. I don't quite feel it there. I'm going to move my finger a little bit deeper, press into it, and then externally rotate. And there the obturator internus has popped up and relax. So therefore, the angle of the needle will be the same angle as my middle finger, sliding right along that ischial tuberosity, the ischial ramus, so I'm anterior to the ischial tuberosity, slide right onto that obturator foramen and needle right in toward that region, toward the medial motor point innervation. Now let's take a look at a model. This would be the sacro tuberous ligament. Remove that. There's the ischial tuberosity. Here's the sacrospinous ligament. That's directly underneath sacro tuberous ligament. So here's ischial tuberosity. So my finger was just going right in this region here. Now by pressing in here, this is where often Alcox canal or that pudendal canal, that fascial canal that's consisting of all those blood vessels and nerves. If we move over up that ischial ramus into this region, slide the finger in, feel the obturator frame and how it falls right in, have the patient contract external rotation and feel for the obturator internus to pop up. All right, we locate the ischial tuberosity. We find the sacro tuberous ligament where it attaches to the ischial tuberosity. So there's the corner of where the sacro tuberous ligament attaches to the ischial tuberosity. All right, so Alcox canal, the pudendal canal is gonna be in close proximity here. So we're gonna move away from the ischial tuberosity, going anterior, following along that ischial ramus, 
crawling right over that ischial ramus, feeling for the obturator internus, which would be a soft band right over the fer obturator foramen. All right, so then now bend your knee a little bit for me and push against me into external rotation and relax. And then one more and relax. Okay, now I can feel that muscle popping up. So my needle is going to follow the same angle of my finger here, right? My index finger is showing me where the pudendal nerve could be, the contents within that Alcox canal. I'm a needle where my middle finger once was, sliding along that ischia ramus, right toward that obturator foramen, and into obturator internus. How you doing? Good. Bend your knee, push against me here a little bit, and relax, and again go, and relax, and go, and relax. Good. 